Hey guys, it's Nick. Welcome to another episode of T-Minus 365. In today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to investigate and respond to security alerts within Azure Security Center. I'm here within the Security Center and the security alerts functionality is part of the advanced threat protection and response capabilities that are part of Azure Defender. So once you connect to that service and have your resources reporting like your VMs and your key vaults and your Kubernetes clusters, you'll begin to get periodic recommendations obviously from the secure score information, but you'll also be able to get in these security alerts here that are across an isolated device. But also the really powerful part is that just like with M365 Defender, it's actually correlating these alerts into incidents if it's on multiple resources. So they're taking a lot of this telemetry and giving you more of the visual of an attack campaign that might be happening within your organization. So within this, you have a basic table here with severity to help you prioritize what incidents or alerts that you're going to respond to. You have a title, you have affected resources, you have the start time. And in some cases, you might have MITRE attack tactics here showing you some of the results that just gives you a better visual indicator of what might be going on and what stage it's at within your organization. So I can actually click into one of these alerts here and it'll pull it up and I can see the severity. I can see more of the description about what's going on, the affected resources, and then I can go straight into a take action page, which is actually giving me some recommendations of what to do. So what it's showing here is that I can actually enforce a rule for this particular alert, which is saying traffic detected from IDP address recommended for blocking. And you can go straight into actually enforcing this rule directly from within these workflows. So it's really cool because you go straight into adding a rule for allowed source IP addresses, basically blocking out all other IPs and you're mitigating that incident directly from here within the security center versus having to traverse other parts of the Azure portal, which is really awesome. The other things that you can do here is you can trigger automated responses from these as well through logic apps. I'm not going to get into that, but it's more of a automated way to remediate incidents or at least provide some type of additional alert to you that may be through email or maybe you trigger it to go through your ticketing system. There's tons of different integration capabilities you could have to help triage these incidents or respond to these incidents. You could also find that if you have this as a false positive, you might want to create a suppression rule so that you mitigate all the other alerts that might be coming through for this particular incident. Maybe it's just this IP address that's actually should be something you should whitelist and you want to create a suppression rule for it. So lots of capabilities there directly from this page and you can switch the status here to dismissed or from there to active if it was in a dismissed state, all from within this page. That's an example of an alert that's taking place. This one here is related to an incident which corresponds to multiple resources being affected. So we're looking into correlated alerts here so we can take in this action and we can see there's more of the information here about how to mitigate this threat. There's this path and there's, there's review points that we can have here. There's also steps to prevent future attacks from this type of attack method as well as within the uh, alert section here, we can see the alerts that compose this incident and some timestamps of when they actually occurred. And when I click into there, I can see all the related entities such as the host and the malware that was being used in this use case. So clicking back, I can click into another incident and again, view this information at a per incident or per alert level. And it gives me an entire scope of actually what's going on within this incident itself. So a lot of these can be clicked into and you can see all this information. You can see the full details by going in. And again, you may have similar use cases here where we're looking at anti-malware action taken for this particular alert. So lots of cool capabilities that you can do here from remediating alerts and responding to them and, and triaging them. You can filter on this section as well too. You could also create suppression rules directly from this page. And you can also go into a query section here, which is basically an advanced hunting method you could use. And it's a lot like the advanced hunting we saw in Microsoft 365 Defender, but it's using this graph explorer here to run queries against your own environment. And they have preset queries that you could leverage here as well too, to perform more of that advanced hunting if you wanna discover more advanced threats that might be occurring within your organization. 
So that's everything I wanted to showcase for you guys today around the investigation and response to security alerts within Azure Security Center. Stay tuned for my final lesson. We'll be walking you through the key benefits and pricing for Azure Defender and Azure Security Center. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.